फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल लर्न विद गिग्स इन दिस वीडियो आई हैव इनवाइटेड हर्षित श्रीवास्तव हु इज अ फ्रेशर एंड एन एस्पायरिंग डेटा एनालिस्ट टुडे आई विल बी टेकिंग हिज एसक्यूल इंटरव्यू व्हिच इज आल्सो कवर्ड इन द पावर बी इंटरव्यू सो दिस सेशन विल बी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर यू ऑल इफ यू आर अ फ्रेशर एज वेल एज अर एस्पायरिंग डेटा एनालिस्ट रिसेंटली आई टुक हिज पावर बी इंटरव्यू आल्सो व्हिच इज आल्सो अपलोडेड ऑन दिस चैनल सो आई विल प्रोवाइड द लिंक ऑफ दैट वीडियो इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स ऑफ दिस वीडियो सो यू कैन चेक दैट आउट टू So let's start the video and before that, if you're new to the channel, then do subscribe it and hit the bell icon to stay updated with all the coming useful videos. Because you won't find the content like this anywhere else on YouTube. Plus, you can also follow me on Instagram, where you will find regular job-related updates as well as short videos on data analytics domain. And also, please do hit the like button of this video because your one like will give me the motivation to create more videos like this. Now let's head towards the interview. Hello, Harshit. How are you? Hello, Sasan. I am good. What about you? I'm also doing good. So Harshit, uh, can you briefly introduce yourself? Sure. So my name is Harshit, and I completed my graduation in 2018. Afterwards, I started preparation for government exams, and then after quitting my government examination, then I came to know about data analytics field, and afterwards I started learning skills related to data analytics, and still my learning process is going on. So Harshit, let's start with the first question. so uh, can you tell me the difference between a uh, primary key and a unique key yes so pr- starting with primary key primary key is a set of attributes or a single attribute that is that are used to identify unique records from a table whereas unique key also unique key is also same and it is also used to identify unique records from a table primary key does not contains null or duplicate values whereas unique key can contain a single null value and there can be only a single primary key in a table whereas there can be multiple unique key in a table what is a composite key composite key consider a scenario where there is no primary key available in a table so in that case we we take a set of attributes for identifying unique record unique records from a table so that so that combination of attributes are known as composite key and uh, what is a surrogate key surrogate key a surrogate key is also like if some like some if some data some data are newly added in a table so in so a surrogate key assigned for that data to identify which which data are newly added or which data and which data are old okay okay can you tell me the difference between uh, where clause and having clause yes so where clause is used to filter is used to filter unaggregated data whereas having clause is used to filter aggregated data so if if i try to do uh if i try to use the where clause and uh, using aggregated function so will it throw error will it work no it will throw error like for example if if some if for some given use case i am using where and and along with where if i am using count so like where count is greater than 1 then in that case it will throw error okay uh what's a, what do you what do you understand by a self join self join is a condition in which a table itself a table joins with itself on some given column and huge case for self join is that to identify to identify employee who is also a manager okay okay can you open your chat box once sure i am sending you one question uh, just a second So suppose you have two tables okay and these two tables contains values like this a b b c null d e and table 2 contains a a b null null d what will yeah. be the resultant of uh, left join okay
sorry there is some mistake actually yes so the last one is the correct answer so uh, the left join will result in uh, like i want a one column table the resultant so that one column will show how many records if we go for a left join okay so it will show 1 2 3 4 6 7 records and what are those eight records that's what i was trying to ask you so okay so records are a b b a a b b c so the records are two times a two times b single c null d and e okay what are constraints constraints are limitations applied on a column like uh, for example not null if if we are using not null constant on a column so in that case that column if we so in that case if a user is inserting some null value so it, in that case it will throw an error uh, how how do we uh... how do we write a, or how do we uh, create a foreign key do you know how to write a syntax of a foreign key yes can you shall write i write it? it yeah yeah can you write that okay is is null equal to blank no null is not equal to blank right okay what's the difference between delete and truncate so truncate is a ddl command whereas delete is a dml command and truncate removes the record from a table while while leaving the structure of the table whereas delete also removes the record based on some specified condition and and truncate does not maintains any row, row deletion log record hence it is faster than delete whereas delete maintains row deletion log record hence it is slower than truncate and when we are and when we are using delete without without the where clause so in that case it is equal to it is same as truncate but the main, but the main difference is that truncate does not maintain any sorry truncate deallocates the data pages whereas delete does not deallocate deallocates the data pages okay so okay. do you know about common table expressions yes i know so yeah can you explain that yes sure so common table expression start with a with, with and afterwards it's you can consider to cte as a temporary table which execution scope lies within the within the select insert delete or update statement okay can you can you tell me what is the syntax of uh, updating any record yes sir can i write it in the chat box yeah yeah yeah, yeah you can write that fine do you know about the difference between uh, when do we use union and when do we use union all yes so union returns unique records while combining the tables whereas union all uh, returns uh, duplicate values also while combining the tables so for a simple use case is that consider a table where student names are given so in in the first table if few records of students are there those who are taking power bi classes and the second table containing records of students who are taking who are taking sql classes and our objective is to find the unique records of students so in that case we can use union and if our objective is to find the duplicate records also because there may be a probability that a same student can take 
your Power BI as well as SQL classes also. So in that case, we can use Union all. Okay, fine. And uh, how can you differentiate between rank and dense rank function? Yes, sure. So rank function is used to assign a unique rank to each record of a table within a partition based on some specified order. So it means that rank function assigns a rank by partitioning the result set on the basis of some specific column and afterwards the rank is assigned based on some specific column either in ascending or descending order and if and in rank in case of rank function if some duplicates records are there so in that case rank rank skips the rank like for example if in a if in a column there are two values two same values so so rank will assign for example number 1 to those two values and to the ne to the next value it will not assign second rank it will assign third rank so this is the drawback of rank function so oh, to so in that case we use dense rank so dense rank also works in the same way like of rank function but without skipping the rank and the the good use case of dense rank is that to find the second highest salary okay in a, in, a, in, a, in a department okay so harshit i have sent you one uh, scenario can you write the query for this particular scenario okay sure Yes, so I have sent you the query. Okay, so you have done this through a CTE. So can you explain this CTE, how you have written? Okay, sure. So first of all, here, as we have to find out the, the number of votes. So, so in that case, we have to use count function, right? And since we are, and since we are taking aggregate function, so in that case, we have to use group by and we have to find out total number of votes in CT. My objective is to find out total number of votes per candidate and per month. So that's why I in group by I have used candidate ID and month month function for taking out month from the vote date. Okay. And afterwards, what I have done in the outer query, I have I have used I have queried candidate ID month and maximum of this count. Why? Because per month, we have to find out the candidate with maximum CT, maximum count of votes. So in that, that's why I have used max function here. And then I have sorted it in descending order. So the, so the per month candidates with the maximum number of votes will okay. be sorted in descending order. Okay, fine. Okay. Can you write uh, one more query? For example, suppose there is a one company and uh, for example, uh, TCS company and okay. you want to write a query to, to see how many people got hired in the last three months. So how will you write the query for that? Okay, sure. Only we have to return the total name count. of employee in the result set. Total count, right? total count uh, number. Total count of employees. Okay. Yes, I have sent you the chat, the query in the chat box. Okay, so you have made use of date diff function, right? Yes. Okay. And I have made it dynamic by using get date function. Okay, can you tell me the order of execution of three particular keywords if I talk about? So if I talk about select, if I talk about where, if I talk about join. So which will execute first? Yes. So first of all, we we need data to perform any operation. So in that case, join will be executed first. Afterwards, we need to filter the data. So so where will be executed and and at the last select will be executed. Okay, so join where and select you are saying, right? Yes, yes. Okay, Harshit, uh, I'm done from my side. Uh, so friends, uh, you also tell me uh, if you are watching this video till now. So let me know how many of you 
were able to answer all the questions which I asked in this particular uh, interview. And if I talk about uh, how your interview went, Harshit, so uh, I think you did a fabulous work. I think you have prepared very well uh, yourself in SQL. Almost all the questions you uh, you were able to answer, and definitely you are doing great. You are doing a lot of hard work for yourself and for your career. I hope you get your uh, first job as a fresher soon. So thank you so much for coming, and uh, it was an amazing session. People will learn a lot from you. Oh, thank you, Sudan, for inviting me, and also I thank you a lot for the for your kind words.